सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ सिंपल एंड प्रोफेशनल पोर्टफोलियो वेबसाइट यूजिंग सिंपल एस टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस ओके एंड फॉर मेकिंग द रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस आई विल यूज जेस अ लिटल बिट ओके सो नो नीट टू वरी आई विल एक्सप्लेन स्टेप बाई स्टेप टूटोरियल हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दिस एंड आई विल प्रोवाइड द सोर्स कोड ऑफ दिस पोर्टफोलियो एज वेल सो फॉर दैट वट यू विल डू इज टू गो टू माई वेबसाइट एंड क्लिक ऑन इट एंड देन यू विल गेट द पोस्ट Uh, I will provide this uh, source code in five to six hours. Okay, after uploading. Okay, so for that, what you have to do is to like this video, share this video to others, your loved ones, and subscribe this channel. Okay, so now let's start this video. So here is the demo part. So first we will go with uh, this logo. Okay, then we have some menu links, and after that we have some icons, social icons. then in the hero section what i have is the you can add here your name hello i'm john then your what you'll do like front end developer product designer web developer and everything then your location where you based then you can add your resume here so just create a pdf file and add the pdf file here so when someone click on it you uh, it will redirect to your uh, resume okay then after that uh, here in the right side i have a profile image so when someone uh, hover on it it will zoom a little bit okay and i don't edit the animation and everything here because it makes the website delay in opening and without animation uh, our website will be light and opens in just an instant okay so let me just show you the responsiveness so when i click on it you can see how instant it will uh, start and i know you might thinking that this is on local host but uh, you have already check out my previous videos as well when i open the responsiveness it takes a little 2 uh, to 1 to 2 seconds to open but it opens in a second instant okay so so now you can understand what is the difference between a light website and a heavy website okay so now here you can see in mobile version it look professional and the hover effect here is same when i click on this hamburger menu it will show me the menu links and uh, uh, social icons okay so it will be same and resume here you can add okay so let's start this video so first create a html file and add the format that is doc type html head and the meta tags okay so let's start with the title so first in the title we have uh, to add the name so i will type uh, john doe and product designer okay as you can see the title update quickly then after that i will add a link which is used to add icons okay i will provide in the description then we can go for uh, adding the style.css file which i will create later now let's move to the body part and we are, i will add a header tag okay inside this header tag i will add a div which class name will be logo okay as you can see this is on then after that i will create a nav tag and inside this nav tag i will add another list and then list okay that is home about work contact okay that's all then i will add another uh, div that is contain social icons that is first one will be dribble then twitter then linkedin okay when i save you can see which, uh, the three icons are now present and how it will show because of this one this link that is i have uh, added earlier then after that we will go for hamburger menu so create a div after the nav bar and add a hamburger menu icons as you can see then we will move for the section container that contains our whole uh, content okay so start with the intro that is content okay so first will be paragraph hello i am john okay then move to the product section after that designer then if another paragraph that is uh, based in netherland okay then a button that is says resume and you can add the uh, file as well so whenever someone click on resume it will download okay then we will go for uh, the image for that i have created a class that is profile pic and then i have added a image that is this one okay now everything looks great and uh, now we can go for styling so create a style.css file and link with the html file now let's go to style.css and first we will what we will do is to add a select a universal selector and set the margin padding to 0 and box sizing will be border box 
after that go for body tag and add the font family background color and color line height and overflow extent after that we will go for header and add the display flex justify content will be spaced between align item center padding 1.5 to rem from right left side then position will be fixed at top so that uh, it will uh, like a sticky okay then width will be 100% and uh, set the position of uh, fixed will be top 0 okay then add the background color same will be as the body then jd tags will be 100 so that it will overlap to others then add some box shadow here you can see then we will go for logo and add the font weight will be bold and font size will be 1.5 rem with flex 1 so first we will add it for mobile version then we will go for desktop okay so add the logo you can see okay now we will go for uh, navigation ul here i have added list list at none display will be flex gap 2 rem and margin will be 2 rem then go for uh, links okay so uh, uh, add the text decoration will be none color will be uh, black type and font weight will be 600 position relative and transition will be color 0 0.3 seconds okay then move to uh, hover effect that is color will be changed to this this one uh, yeah it kind of like i'm mean, good okay then move to uh, after tag like i have to add some uh, hover effect okay so what i will do is to add content and position absolute then i will go for adding hover effect so now you can see uh, it looks fine now okay then we can go for other one that is social text uh, you can't find it here let me just move it a little bit now you can see it okay so here social display will be flex and 1.5 rem then add the span tag like we have already added here here this is span tag okay so yeah inside this span tag the font size will be 1.2 rem cursor pointer and transition will transfer okay now let's move to the social span hover effect okay now after that we will add the container so what will be the container that is uh, this one here it is class container okay so this one is so now what we have to do is to check the uh, display will be flex flex direction will be column for phone and uh, tab version okay align item will be center text align center padding 8 rem 2 rem and 4 rem okay minimum height will be 100 vh and maximum width will be 200 pixels okay and margin zero auto then move to uh, intro that is this one okay um, here max width will be 800 pixels and margin bottom 3 rem then after that we will uh, add the first cell that is this one as you can see it sizes increases and uh, adding the margin bottom 0.5 rem after that um, we will uh, style the product designer that is uh, responsive that is using clamp okay and i have already created a video if you don't watch go and check it out i will provide it here okay so yeah margin will be uh, 0.5 rem and line height 1.1 then we will go for uh, h2 that is designer and same clamp will be same everything okay now move to the uh, based in netherland that is last child and add the same like above one a uh, little bit uh, lower the part like this um, no it will be same like 1.2 and 1.2 okay just add the more margin then go for the button that is margin top will be 1.5 rem background will be uh, this one okay yeah it's kind of look uh, better than before then we will go for uh, resume button hover effect so here i added a background of different color with color uh, white and transform it will be moved to a little bit upward direction uh, let me show you here you can see yeah now it's look fine so after designing this all all this we will go for uh, this this part okay and you can see we have the icons and hamburger everything here so i will adjust it later okay so now we will focus on this profile pic so here you can see this image is inside a profile pic class name uh, container so i am styling this profile pic okay and inside this uh, image i will style this one so now you can see it uh, like a small small child okay yeah so now in the mobile version it look like this but yeah we will just set up this uh, more 
so i have added a hover effect so that when you go and uh, visit here you can see a hover effect it will just a little bit zoom okay and then we will go for this hamburger menu okay display will be none for the uh, first uh, for now display will be none okay then adding the cursor button if i can show you just uh, yeah now you can see here cursor and a little bit bigger okay. then move to the media size here uh, now we will add for the desktop versions so i will just make it a little bit bigger yeah here you can see minimum width so first i'll with the container so just make it side by side uh, by adding flex direction row justify content space between line item center text align left okay now after that we will go for intro this one uh, which will be flex one margin 3 rm margin button zero then we will go for uh, profile pic which will now look it's fine because it will uh, yeah then go for nav bar and here what i will do is uh, set the width to 80 percent this is the nav bar area okay uh, if i can show you yeah this is the nav bar area okay so let me show you yeah now you can see this is nav bar area and then we will go for profile pic image this one it looks bigger now and yeah it look uh, better than before then we will style the mobile style again for the smaller sizes as you can see this one so for that i will add the max width and adding the header padding then nav will be fixed at upper direction and width will be 100 percent left uh, zero stop 70 pixels as you can see now box sizing transform if i uh, remove this now you can see the design how it look like okay so now let me give a active button so that when i click on hamburger it will move to zero okay now contain the ul okay so now if i can show you when i go here now you can see uh, it will look like this okay when i click on hamburger but here not uh, here but it will be top zero okay then i will add the hamburger to be block for uh, mobile version so now when i click here it will uh, just come from above okay then that that will be done by the javascript so the click function and everything then add the padding to the container here and intro and intro to set the intro to and then for uh, lower than 400 pixels width uh, what we will do uh, we will just uh, lower the width of uh, this image okay so now you can see our styling is done and now we can move to add the javascript for that come to index.html file again and now add the javascript part now create a script tag and add the script part first we will take a hamburger menu okay now after that we will select the nav now what i will do is to create a function so when i click on a hamburger uh, when i click on hamburger what it will do is to toggle the active class in the nav so now what what it will happen when i click on this hamburger it will set the active to nav to active and then again when i click on it it will remove the active so it will create a responsiveness and you can see when i go back it will per work perfectly fine and then add the uh, hamburger dot inner html to active so what will happen uh, let me just show you first so when i click uh, before what it will do is nothing but i want to add a cross button here so what i will do is to set the hamburger html to active when it will active it will uh, display none okay so when i click here you can see here true but what i will now is add the uh, ternary operator that if uh, the hamburger dot html contain active button so it will show this but if not then it will show this so this uh, icon this icon is the cross button and this will be hamburger button so now when i refresh again and now when i click again you can see it uh, changes to cross button and then again hamburger cross and hamburger so this is the ternary operator and this style is i like it uh, personally this style is uh, great because it will simple and easy to understand okay and you don't have to do anything new framework highly um, 
this is not a, a hard topic or everything you can't do okay so this is a very beginner level and i think you can do this even without giving you code but don't worry i will upload the code on website as soon as possible okay so be with us and see you in the next video